Hey guys, welcome back. We're uh, working on the truck again today and um, getting into putting some more of the accessories on. So uh, I figured I'd show you a little bit about West Coast mirrors today. Uh, I know a lot of guys have problems with them. Uh, now this is this is my old mirrors. Um, I am putting new ones on. You see I've got a whole new assembly there. Um, I've got whole new assemblies for both sides. So this is getting replaced too. Um, that's the new stuff for the driver's side I've got laid out. Um, so let's let's start with the basics. Um, obviously, I'm missing one arm on this. That is actually hanging out there. I painted it a little while ago. Um, like I said, brand new, but the cark is, who knows, probably 20 years old in the package. So I just wanted to put another coating on it before it got dirty and, you know, make sure it doesn't going to start peeling or anything. So, and it matches perfectly. Anyway. Um, a lot of guys have problems with the threaded rod breaking, right? Um, and it's not, it's not bolts that go in here. It's actually this, in every single one of them, that will have this threaded uh, cadmium plated rod that goes all the way through. It's a quarter inch rod, and the threads on it are quarter 28. That you should use a all metal self locking nut on them. I have also seen people use regular nuts and lock washers. Um, but that is not, it's not really uh, ideal because of the availability of the threads you have sticking out. Um, what I would do with this and what I'm going to do with this, and I'll suggest that you all do it too, don't depend on this cadmium plating because that's the reason these things always rust and get stuck inside of those tubes uh, and then they break off. What, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and uh, th there's two things you can do. You can either coat this in an anti-seize lubricant like some copper anti-seize or you can uh, take some solvent, some brake cleaner and a rag and clean it off make sure there's no oil on it and uh, stick it in something that'll hold it up and put a thin coat of paint on the whole thing so it blocks uh, moisture, you know. So that, that should help you with that. Um, so if you ever do break it off, you can get it out. And um, the other thing, the only other real important thing I wanted to show you about these mirrors is, um, of course the compressor's gotta run. Oh, cool, it shut off, nice. Um, a lot of people have problems with them like working their way back as you're driving, right? Like the air running down the road will push against them and they'll go back. And this one I've got pretty well tightened up. Uh, I was having a problem with that a long time ago. I tightened it and tightened it and got lucky and it didn't snap the threaded rod off. That's how a lot of guys break them off, is they're trying to get that tightened up to where the mirrors won't, won't fold back while they're driving and it ends up breaking the bolt off. Now here's why that happens. Why that happens is exactly what you see right here, why, how it's installed. Um, and it's not proper. Um, what keeps this whole ear from folding back is clamping force on the ends of the arms here. Okay, so with it installed like it is, you've got, let me get my step over here so I can show you a little better. You've got one bolt and a, or one little nut and a washer on top, and you've got one nut and a washer on the bottom providing clamping force on these arms against the rest of it. Okay? So you've only got this uh, maybe maybe half inch diameter section that's actually pressing against it on the one side and the same on top. So if you want to increase that and fix your problem, the way to do that is to take this apart and change the position of these tabs to in between the rest of them. Now it doesn't have to be right in the middle. You can, um, but what you want is the tab of another arm on each side. You don't want just the post touching this. You don't want just the nut and washer touching this. You want another tab on each side to provide more area of friction against the arm on each side, right? So, I would put this arm between this one 
and this one. You got three here, so you just put this in the middle. And the same down here. You've got four here, so you can put it, I mean, preferably in the position this one is in right here. It, it really, um, you can put it between these two right there, or you can put it between these two up here. Either one will work fine. Now, you might think, well, you know, that's going to cause issues with spreading my ears apart. Well, it really doesn't um, because these, these mounting ears are so far inboard on that radius of those arms that it, it doesn't spread them apart or, or together as much as you might think. Um, and even still, uh, they're super easy to bend and make adjustments to if you need to. So, um, if you're having issues with your mirrors folding, um, that's the way to fix it. That's, that's really the proper way to do it. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen one that was actually put together properly. See, this is my old driver's side, and it's the, it's the same way. Um, it's not on the top. In the top, it's in the right way, but on the bottom, it's not. And I, I didn't put these together. I, I never actually took these apart and painted them. I always just like scuffed them up and sprayed them. So, um, but yeah, they're getting replaced now, so they're going to be done right. Um, anyway, it's that's about all there is to tell you. I mean, I got um, I got my new actual mirrors themselves, which are these here from Big Mike. Um, now, the mirror arms, those assemblies I've had. Um, I've had them sitting around for a couple of years. I got them. Um, somebody gave them to me actually in a big box of parts. So, um, but you can get that stuff from Big Mike's and he even has these stupid threaded rods and those center tubes if you end up breaking something and you can't get your broken piece out. Um, you can get everything you need from him, including your mirrors. So, um, yeah, I think that's about all there is to tell you. Um, you know, make sure all your stuff is tight and not rusted out, definitely. You know, inspect the bottoms here for rust holes like mine over there. Uh, it's rusted out on the bottom, so. Uh, quarter inch on everything. Yeah. So, thanks for watching, dudes. Hope it's helpful to you. Um, if you got any questions on this, post them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer the questions for you or, or direct you to where you need to find whatever you need. And, um, I just really do appreciate, you know, the likes and... All you guys that have subscribed recently, you guys, I mean, you're awesome. So uh, check out our sponsors. As I mentioned, Big Mike's, his information is all in the description box below, website and all that stuff, and as well as RapcoParts.com, you know, the, the uh, provider for the paint we've used and all this stuff. So check, it, check you guys later. Peace. That was really nerdy, wasn't it? <laughs>